It's time to get those tailorons working. So, let me pull out my smooth flight and let's get to town. So to set up the uh, elevons, we go to touch the middle, smooth flight, advanced, elevon mix, active, and when you hit active, it's going to assign channel 15 and 16 of your radio uh, to the elevon channel. So to do that, and it's going to assign an aileron mix of 50. So that means that the, whatever the aileron throw is, the elevons are going to move by half of, of that throw. So then the last step is to go in here, and if you go to the monitor, go to second page, you can see that if I move my, my ailerons now, channels 15 and 16 are moving, right? And if I move my elevator, channels 15 and 16 are also moving. So we're gonna go into IO routing. Our elevators were initially programmed on channel two. So we're gonna unmap that programming. We're gonna save, go back into IO routing. Now you can see our channel uh, one and nine are free. We're gonna assign these to channels 15 and 16. 15 is gonna get that one. Let's go do that again. And 16 is gonna get this guy. Save. And we're done. And so now the, the tailoron actually should work. Let's take a look. So now uh, we should have tailoron movement. We're gonna check that and then we'll reverse whatever needs to be reversed. So if I go up, you can see that one of mine is moving the wrong way and the ailerons are moving in conjunction with the tail. So all I need to do is I want to reverse the servo. I want to reverse that guy. Return, return, return. Okay, so that's been reversed. Let's see what happens now. Now when I hit elevator, boom. So we have, let's zoom out so we can see. So we have up elevator, giving up elevator. And we have aileron. You can see that that's actually moving correctly. And the other way is moving correctly as well. And you're done. Your aileron, tailoron setup is, is done. And just to be extra careful, we're gonna flip the gain into high and make sure that our surfaces are still moving correctly. Dialed up uh, the gain on my elevator just so I can check it. And let's see, we might need to reverse stuff here, but yeah, so you can see that that elevator is moving in the wrong direction. And so all I need to do is on the elevator screen of smooth flight, I'll say invert the elevator, return. And let's check that again now. Now that's correct. Uh, one more thing that I'd like to talk about in the smooth flight menu under advanced elevon mix. So there's this number here. Um, and what that number is, like I said, is the percentage of the mix that, that is um, applied and so I'm gonna just dial this down to about half of that so it's currently at 50 I'm gonna bring it down to 25 25 and so what that should um, do is not give too much tailoron because we already have ailerons and this plane is not like specter to fly with tailoron so I'm gonna start low and go high. So start with just 25% um, for the tailorons. So that'll just augment the aileron a little bit and then move from there. So now with the 25% mix, you can see that the tail is not moving as aggressively as it did before, but still uh, moving correct. So you want the surfaces on either side of the plane to move in the same direction. There you have it. And I'm happy with the setup. And that's it. She's ready to fly. We unassigned the elevators from whatever channel the radio is programmed. 
and I believe uh, in my radio, the, the elevators were um, assigned to channel number two on the radio. So that now that we assigned those two servos that are operating the tail to channels 15 and 16, channel two is open on the radio. What that means is uh, when you move your elevator, um, not like no servos actually connect to channel two. But this is why this is cool, because if, say, this plane had canards, then I could plug in the two canard servos into the smooth flight and program those to move on channel two so that I could basically have tailorons on the tail and like my canards would be able to just do elevator, for example. So that allows you a lot of mixing flexibility, a lot of complex mixing flexibility, and that's really good. Um, the Smooth Flight Manual talks more about these complicated mixes and complicated planes, and you can go there if you like more information.